and oscilloscope is a device used to display waveforms inside the oscilloscope a beam of electron is emitted from a metal filament by thermionic emission the emitted electrons are accelerated away from the filament by a potential difference of 2000 volts state what happens to the metal filament for thermionic emission to occur so it happens when the filament gets heated and because of having a higher temperature electrons start to emit explain why the electrons accelerate away from the filament they are attracted by the positive potential and repelled by the filament because it is at negative potential so that is why they accelerate away from the filament the charge on one electron is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulombs calculate the maximum kinetic energy of one electron after it has been accelerated through 2000 volts we know the formula that voltage is equal to work done upon charge which shows that work done which is the maximum kinetic energy would be the product of voltage and the charge so the voltage here is 2000 and the charge of one electron is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 so the answer is 3.2 into 10 raised to minus 16 joules so this is the kinetic energy gained by the electron which is equal to the work done on the electron figure 10.1 is the trace on the screen of the oscilloscope the settings on the oscilloscope are 10 milliseconds per division so this one division on the x-axis is showing 10 milliseconds time and 3 volts per division for the y-axis so for the y-axis this one division is showing 3.0 volts okay calculate the amplitude of the trace shown in this figure now the amplitude is uh, equal to two divisions we can see whether it is on the positive side or on the negative side so two divisions means uh, there is a voltage of 6 so two divisions multiplied by 3.0 volts gives us 6.0 volts this is the amplitude of the given signal okay the next part is calculate the time for one oscillation complete wavelength of the trace shown in this figure so for example if we start measuring from this point then a wave would be completed on this point so there are uh, one two three and four divisions or uh, if we uh, measure from the crest for example from this crest till this crest then again we can see that there are four divisions and we know that one division is representing 10 milliseconds so i'm writing 4 multiplied by 10 milliseconds which gives us a time period of 40 milliseconds in this time one wave is completed the trace shown in figure 10.1 is caused by a sound the sound travels through the air to a microphone from the place that it is made the microphone is connected to the oscilloscope which displays the waveform shown sound is a type of wave state which type so we know that sound is a longitudinal wave describe the motion of the air molecules as the sound passes through the air to the microphone air molecules oscillate or vibrate back and forth parallel to the direction of propagation of waves forming compressions and rare factions so this is how the sound is traveling from the source till the microphone describe and explain how the trace on the screen changes as the pitch of the sound becomes higher now pitch is related to the frequency of the sound so pitch if pitch is increasing means frequency is going to increase and for the increased frequency we are going to have a shorter wavelength the setting on the oscilloscope are unchanged the trace on the screen would change in such a way that more waves 
could be seen because frequency of the sound has increased and since frequency is number of waves per unit time so when the frequency is increasing it means number of waves formed in a unit time are going to increase and that is going to decrease the wavelength of the waves a student investigates what happens when a diode is connected between the microphone and the oscilloscope figure 10.2 shows the circuit that he uses so this is the diode which is connected with the diode the output from the microphone is an alternating current and the trace is as shown in the figure 10.1 on page 18. Describe the action of the diode on the current from the microphone. So diode would only pass, so diode would only pass current in one direction. And when the current changes its direction because it is an AC current, the diode would behave uh, like a open switch in reverse bias situation it would not conduct any current on the grid in figure 10.3 sketch the trace seen on the screen when the diode is used so now uh, the original trace is like this uh, it has a positive half cycle then a negative half cycle then another positive negative and positive half cycle so when the diode is uh, for example conducting current in one direction only this current would be allowed to pass and when the negative signal comes the diode is not going to conduct so the current would become zero then the positive half cycle then zero then the positive half cycle this is how the conduction of current would take place so i am showing it here the trace would be like this then it would become zero Again, there would be a positive cycle after this. After this, there would be again negative half cycle, which would not be allowed to pass through because of the diode. And this would be the final positive half cycle. So this is how uh, the waveform is going to change. Only positive cycles would be allowed to pass through the diode. When the negative cycle comes, diode is not conducting. So the current has become zero. And again, a positive half cycle for negative it is zero. Again, a positive half cycle. This is the altered waveform of the given signal. 